I'm exhausted. Seven stores, a little over $2,000, but we are set for the next two months. If you are new, my name is Vanessa, and if you are returning and watching another video of mine, I wanted to give you a huge thank you for continuing to watch what I put out. So pretty much every single week, typically on a Saturday, I'm really not sure until I sit down and start editing if this is going to go out on a Saturday night or a Sunday morning because it's already late in the afternoon. But typically I share my grocery haul and sometimes I add on the meal plan for my family of six. So this week I am not going to be sharing the meal plan. I am utilizing some meal kits this month. I'm also utilizing some freezer meals and we have a couple videos that we're going to be filming around our meal plan that you guys are going to see coming up in the next couple weeks. So I'm not going to be sharing that today, but I went through everything that we had. <clears throat> I assessed the situation, everything that's going on in the world right now and decided to just stock up and then stay home. I got a lot, so let me just say, the $2,000 and not all on food. I got a lot of non-food items also and I'm sharing that with you guys. However, going forward, <laughs> I'm going to break apart the stores into different videos. I'll do like Sam's and Costco, and then I'll do the smaller ones and maybe Trader Joe's on its own going forward whenever do whenever I do a monthly haul. That way they are not super, super long because I know my videos can be long when I'm sharing a whole lot in one. But if you guys make it through the entire video, there might be a surprise at the end. So um, I will have the breakdown in the description box of what I spent at each store, but it was like 21, 27 or something like that. So I will have all those numbers down below, but it is grocery and non-grocery combined. I ain't got time to break it apart because it was just a lot all at once. Now we are set for the summer. I got some fun things for the kids and again, some fun things for some videos you guys are going to see coming up in the near future. So let's get right into all seven of these stores. All right, so we will do Trader Joe's first. I tried to organize it a little bit. I've got all the frozen goodies right here. Um, I used to pick these up for the kids for their lunch boxes, and I figured I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a while. I really only go um, maybe every three to six weeks, but I feel like it's been a really long time. So I did pick up some extra goodies. I got the pepperoni and the cheese, and then I went ahead. I don't know what happened to this box. It completely... <laughs> broke open in the car. Um, but I went ahead and got the silver dollar pancakes. My kids love these. For Paige, I picked up these vegetable masala burgers with authentic Indian spices. She does um, live a vegan lifestyle. So these are vegan burgers for her. And if you guys are new, Paige is my oldest and she'll be 16 in July. Um, typically, I've only picked one of these up. I think the last time I picked two up because my kids and Paige, well, all four of my kids love these. So I did pick up two to last us. Another item I picked up for Paige are the vegetable bird's nest. She loves those. I need to double check the ingredients on this and have her look at it, but I'm pretty sure she can eat this as well. And she has made a cauliflower dish very similar to this, but I figured it would be nice to have in the freezer ready to go when she wants something like that. And it is the Kung Pao Tempura Cauliflower. I've never picked this up before, so hopefully it is good. And then she, I told her I was going to Trader Joe's and she requested the bird's nest and these, these Thai vegetable pot stickers. So those are the two items that she wanted that I picked up. Everything else I just saw and picked up as extras. Um, I need some meatballs for a dinner. So I got these fully cooked ones and then I saw these and I think I'm going to create um, a dish with these in them, the party size mini meatballs and um, what are they? The little smokies. So hopefully I can find the little smokies at the store, but I thought that would be a fun for like an appetizer night or on the weekend, something like that. All right, I of course got the gnocchi with gorgonzola cheese. I'm actually, I didn't eat breakfast and it is a little past lunchtime and I'm starving. So I am gonna cook this as soon as I put all this stuff up and that's gonna be my lunch. Um, I got the chicken cilantro mini wontons. I picked these up either last time or the time before. We've purchased these before and they were really good. So I went ahead and got those. Then some cookies. Um, I think these are new and they look good. I know my kids will like them. So I picked them up. It says these sprinkles walk into a sandwich cookie. It's butter cookies filled with buttercream frosting and sprinkles. And then the kids and I were talking about chocolate covered um, chips oh, a couple nights ago at dinner. 
and these are not chocolate covered chips, but they're dark chocolate crisps, thin curved waves of Belgian chocolate with crunchy rice bits in them. So I figured we would go ahead and try those. And then I got these vegan trail mix cookies for Paige. Produce, I got a bag of onions. And if you guys hear a lot of noise in the background, you know everybody's home. Um, a pineapple, watermelon, a bag of lemons, a bag of oranges, a bag of apples. I'm picking up produce to last two weeks and then um, things for meals for the month. I got a bag of avocados. That way we only have to go to the store um, in about two weeks for more fresh stuff and I'm good on like the meal stuff for the rest of the month. I got some tomatoes. I still have some mozzarella left over. Actually, we haven't even opened it. I use the little balls for Easter and I have the big package of the sliced rounds of mozzarella cheese that I got from Costco. So we're gonna do that for dinner one night and hence the reason I got the basil as well. And then a cantaloupe. All right, now we're coming over here. I love getting flowers from Trader Joe's. They are a great price. So I went ahead and got two bunches. My daughter Pearl loves the flavored drinks at Trader Joe's. She loved the green one, but they don't sell that anymore. So I did get the watermelon cucumber. I know she'll like that. Oh, this was like a, a treat I should have put over there, but these flower gummies, I haven't purchased gummies, I feel like in a while, outside of the little packs that I got from the Dollar Tree a little while ago. So I went ahead and got those. I know the kids will enjoy that. I got two bags of this pasta, the a vegetable organic pasta. I thought this would be yummy to have one night for dinner. Then I got <laughs> these, the kids love these, the chocolate chip or French chocolate chip mi milk rolls is what those are. Those are good. All right, I got Paige this vegan mac. I don't know if she'll like it, but I figured she could give that a try. I also got her this vegan ranch dip for her veggies over the next couple weeks. All right, everybody asked me where I found chocolate hummus the last time that I shared it, and it was a long time ago. Um, I have pr picked up this one from Trader Joe's, H-E-B. If you guys are in Texas, H-E-B also carries a chocolate hummus in the um, produce section where they have some of the stuff sitting out. They have the chocolate hummus over there. So went ahead and got it from Trader Joe's because Bryce does not like it, but Rose and Pearl do. So got that. Pizza sauce. We're going to be making some pizzas. Cottage cheese. The small curd from Trader Joe's is my absolute favorite. So I should have gotten a big one, but I just got a small one. I also got some rice pudding. This is a treat for me. I love it. Don't buy it that often. Um, to go with the cottage cheese, I love Trader Joe's Pearl. I was about to say pearl, because <laughs> that's my daughter's name. Pear halves, so I got those. Um, since we are doing pizzas, I got the vegan mozzarella for Paige, and then this is what we're going to be turning into pizzas. And we're gonna have some extra um, people over at the house in a couple weeks, so I went ahead and got this for all of us to do. I got one of the garlic flavored for the adults if they wanted to try that. And this is the Indian style flatbread. And I got two of the traditional for the kids. Can't go to Trader Joe's without getting the white cheddar corn puffs. So I got those and then two seasonings. I um, want to, I used to add ground cinnamon to my coffee and I just always forget because it's in my pantry. So I put my ground cinnamon with my coffee bar area and then I needed another one for the pantry. Did that make sense? I hope that made sense. So I got another ground cinnamon so I can have two, one by the coffee, one in the pantry, so I can use it for different things. And then I saw this, this is another thing that Paige, I'm pretty sure um, it's just seasonings, but I got this, I thought she might like this on certain items. So it is a Japanese multi-purpose seasoning. Looks good and she likes those kinds of flavors. So that is everything from Trader Joe's. Okay, and this is not a regular grocery haul, but I did go to the Dollar Tree. Um, you guys are gonna see or hear why when I go over the meal plan. Um, but I went in for snacks and bread, and then I saw some other things that sounded good, so I went ahead and picked those up. Um, my Dollar Tree that I go to is a hit or miss on bread, um, and I just don't pick up bread that often um, when I'm at the Dollar Tree. That's something I really typically get from the grocery store, but. It is slim pickings at the grocery store, so I did go ahead and pick up one. Now, um, I am filming this on May 1st. It is, this says May 2nd. This is gonna go straight into the freezer, and I am gonna try my hand, you guys should be seeing that in an upcoming video, at making my own bread in different appliances. So I picked up this just in case, <laughs> just in case they don't turn out, just in case the kids are like, this is not normal bread. So I did pick up a backup 
loaf of bread. Then I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. These are by Ellie's, which they had the bagels there as well, but my kids are like on and off for bagels and right now they're not eating them. So each bag has 10 mini crescent rolls. So I thought that was super cute. Um, these are gonna go in the freezer as well until we have a use for them. It, it says May, oh, 24, so that's awesome. So I've got two bags of those. I got some of the yellow popcorn by Jolly Time. Um, a lot of popcorns, well, one, my oldest daughter has braces, so she's really not supposed to eat popcorn, but every now and then she really wants some popcorn, just a little bit. Um, so I figured I would get this because most of the bags that we buy have some kind of butter in them. So I went ahead and got that. And then speaking of my oldest, I got some of her favorite treats. She loves these Terra chips and she loves these pretzel crisps. And I typically buy these from Costco, but I haven't gone to Costco yet. And just in case they don't have any, I like these little snack size bags. So I got those for her. And then I saw this one in the sweet potato. So I got that for her as well. I saw these bugles. I used to, let me know down below. Did you guys as children eat these and put them on your fingers and pretend like you were a witch or something? <laughs> yes, I did that all the time. So I went ahead and picked these up just Thinking of the old days so my kids could enjoy them and I got them in the nacho cheese. I got three packs of the Nutella and go with pretzel sticks. Um, this is another thing that's been hit or miss at the grocery store and my kids have been loving this. I typically don't buy this during the school year uh, because nothing just stays warm until I can find a really good container. Um, the kids always come home with over half of it left and they're just like, no, nah, I don't like it, you know, lukewarm. They like their stuff hot. So I did go ahead and get two of the SpaghettiOs and then two of the mini ravioli. And then they had a good selection of sparkling water. So I got the Ozarka Black Cherry. I got the LaCroix Berry, LaCroix Lime, and the Pamplemousse, is that? A pomegranate or something. Um, I can't remember what that is, but anyway, and I got the LaCroix in that. So also this was what I was going in there for um, because of something that we're doing. So I got Pringles and I went ahead and got the four different kinds that they had. The sour cream and onion, cheddar cheese, barbecue, and original. Um, I always look at their like sour stuff um, because my kids love sour candy. And these are sour bright sneakers. <laughs> fun is that so I went ahead and got that two bags of Skittles and then I was looking for Hershey Kisses and I got this but this this was probably enough um but I did go ahead and get them in the different flavors I was really hoping they would have like the tropical or another flavor of the Skittles so I could get more of these but they didn't so um not as many Skittles but that's okay so I got the uh milk chocolate hugged by white cream the cookies and cream the milk chocolate filled with caramel, and then the original milk chocolate. Then I got these Reese's peanut butter cups stuffed with pieces. All right, I've seen several people haul this at like your typical grocery store and say they are fantastic. And I love potatoes in the, br in the morning with over medium eggs with it, the yolk runny, so good. So I went ahead and picked up one. Um, it does say family size, but not everybody will eat these. So I went ahead and got that. And then I saw these and I was like, don't do it, Vanessa. But they just look so good. Look at those biscuits. So cheesy garlic biscuit mix. It reminds me of Red Lobster's biscuit. So um, each pack only makes four. So I did get two packs of that. Curious to see if those are good. But that is my little itty bitty grocery haul from the Dollar Tree. All right, you guys, so this is Sam's Club. I am definitely gonna be out of breath because I did Costco and Sam's in the same day and I just brought it all in. Paige helped me, um, but then she had to take a bathroom break, so. And it's the middle of the day, so Mark's at work. All right, so let's get into it. I need a pineapple juice for a couple different recipes and I have a couple different drink ideas that I wanna mix up for the kids. So. Went ahead and got the big case that way i've got plenty so there's 24 in here that will last us a long time so mark loves when we had a sam's membership before mark um loved the 4d energy and he asked me to pick that up but they didn't have it anywhere he wants to stop drinking the monsters um and i didn't you guys are gonna see i didn't pick up any cokes i'm um, just trying to be a little bit better so I went ahead and got the bang. Um, I know this is still an energy drink, but it's supposed to have better ingredients and all of that. So I went ahead and picked this up. That way he just has something and maybe next month they will have the 40 energy or we can order it online or something like that. But this is a 24 pack 
It's got six sour heads, six blue raz, and six purple haze. Is there any more? There should be more, but I can't read it. It's probably covered. Um, so that is a variety pack. All right, so Costco is completely out of paper plates, which I love Costco's paper plates. And Sam's had the ones that we got last time, but then I saw these and they're so cute and anything right now, you know, to make being in the kitchen fun. Um, and yes, we are a paper plate family being seven in the household. I'm not trying to have to do dishes all day, every day. So went ahead and got these. It is a smaller pack, so I will be doing more dishes this month than last month, but that's okay. Got that. Oh, and just a side note, we use paper plates for breakfast and lunch, um, but for dinner, we use real plates. So I'm washing the dishes that I'm using to make breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but I'm not washing plates um, for breakfast and lunch. So that helps me out a lot. <laughs> so I've got that. Um, I went ahead and got this pack of dog toys and we do have two extra doggies in the house and they are much younger <laughs> they're little pups. So went ahead, well not little, but they're still puppy age. So I went ahead and got this that way the kids are, um, the kids are enjoying playing with them. So I thought this would be fun. And these are just little seahorses. So got that. Then I saw this shirt and I thought it was super cute. So I have no idea. Normally we have a big um, family get together for 4th of July. I'm not sure what we're doing this year. Um, but regardless, this t-shirt was super cute. So I picked it up. It says fireworks, sparklers, picnics, ice cream, baseball, hashtag America. Now, none of the kids play baseball. I don't watch baseball, but these first four are all me. <laughs> so I went ahead and got that. I thought it was super cute. All right. I almost picked this up last time, but I didn't because we got the salsa. So I got this one this time and it is the avocado salsa. And can you guys see that? There's the ingredients right there. So I think that's going to be really yummy. All right. Normally I use fresh chicken, um, when I am making chicken salad and I want to make that next week but I don't want to use our chicken <laughs> because I did not pick up a 10 pound bag of chicken because we still have a five pound bag in the freezer and then a couple like single, like two pound packs of chicken. So I didn't pick up another one, but I do want to make chicken salad and I didn't pick up a rotisserie. I guess I could have picked up a rotisserie chicken for that. Oh, well, anyway, I got the cans um, and this will last a long time. So I'll be able to make a chicken salad uh, multiple times this month. So got that. All right. I did pick up pop tarts. I went back and forth on this. This is something that used to be a regular in our grocery haul, um, but we've made semi better choices for the kids. I don't even know why I keep saying that because sometimes I pick up crap and sometimes I pick up good stuff. We just balance it out the best we can. But I saw this, the kids are getting bored eating the same thing over and over again and school's out for the rest of the school year and the summer. It's going to be a long one. So I got the 32 variety pack and I don't feel bad about it. I mean, I do feel a twinge, but not too bad. It's got eight of the frosted s'mores, eight frosted blueberry, eight frosted cherry, and eight frosted cookies and cream. So went ahead and got that. I saw this and I thought of my daughter. This is a, um, I'm pretty sure, I, I swear it said vegan. I thought it said vegan on the front on the back probably. Um, but this is a like cruelty free animal, all that good stuff. Love beauty and planet shampoo and conditioner twin pack. So I went ahead and got that for her because we're actually all running low, but I'm going to pick up stuff for the rest of us at HEB or Walmart. So I saw this at Sam's and got that for her. All right. I'm not drinking Coke. So I need a lot of my sparkling water and this will not last the whole month. I'm just saying that right now <laughs> uh, because my oldest daughter drinks it as well. So I got two different kinds. They were the exact same price. So you're getting 24 cans in each and they were, I don't remember the price. Um, and that's another thing with these monthly ones. I don't pop up the price anymore. I'm so sorry, but I went ahead and got both so I could try them because I like the different flavors. So this one has hibiscus, limoncello and watermelon. And then that one has blackberry, cucumber, cherry limeade and watermelon citrus. Yum. So this is the Sam's Club brand members mark. And then this is LaCroix, um, a name brand. So went ahead and got those. All right. Speaking of changing it up for the kids, we're almost out. I got a big bag of the Tyson chicken nuggets the last time or the time before. And we've got like just a tiny bit left in there. And the last time I made chicken nuggets, I mean, I only make them like once a week, but the kids were like, Oh, I'm so tired of these chicken nuggets. So this time <laughs> I got the home style boneless chicken bites. And hopefully they enjoy that. I also picked up a variety. I mean, I got the pop tarts of breakfast items 
because that's another time where the kids are tired of eggs and bacon and they're tired of cereal. So I try to get a little bit of a right of a variety. So this is cinnamon rolls made with cinnamon, cinnabun cinnamon with icing. And I think there's four cans in here. Yes, it's 32 rolls, but there's four cans in here. So that'll be four breakfast got some heavy whipping cream for a couple different recipes so i like that all right this i picked up because one of my kids requested s'mores and instead of buying all the pieces individually i just picked this up i was like you know what this is all together for me i don't have to look for the items individually at heb so i got it it's got nine chocolate bars in here one big bag of marshmallows and two packs of graham crackers it says it makes 18 s'mores so that will be nice i got a pack of crayons i picked some up from the dollar tree for their schoolwork, but that's all we have so i'm going to tuck this away for after school is complete their last day is may 28th so i'm going to tuck this away for the summertime it's got 200 crayons in there i love that it's just in this bin i picked up some colored pencils also because the crayons don't fill the bin up so i'm hoping I can fit like lay the crayons down and fit the colored pencils in here also and that way it's just one bin with all of their coloring supplies in it we'll see if that works but that was my idea for that okay i use this on my back whenever it acts up and i just used the last of the one that i had and i've been buying it from walmart i didn't know that they had it at sam's club well i didn't have a membership for a while um, but sam's and walmart are affiliated somehow so I went ahead and picked this up. This was pretty pricey. I think it was like $25, but it'll last a long time. It's got the two bigger ones and then a small little one. I love this because I can fit it in my purse and take it with me on the go. And if my back like really starts acting up or something, I can just throw a little bit of this on it and it'll be like a nice cool relief for a little bit. So got that. I got a big bag of the petite carrots. These are actually my kids favorite, but they come in such a little itty bitty bag that I always have to buy several of them. So I hope that we can eat all this before they start to turn. Otherwise, I'll just throw them in the freezer and we can use them for like a crock pot dinner or I will add this to the dog's food. Okay, I got a lot of chips because I feel like we're gonna be doing, I don't know, it's, you know, it's hot outside. It's supposed to be the 90s this week in Texas and we're just like a chip and dip family. So I got this kind and it is the Siete grain-free tortilla chips with lime. You'll see I got some more at Costco as well, but these are really good. We've had them before. Here's the colored pencils I picked up. 100 different colors, premium colored pencils. So hopefully that's good for the summer. All right, I had a lot of y'all suggest. What video did I say it in? I don't remember. A Dollar Tree haul, I think. And a lot of you guys suggested that I buy these Frixion clickers or pens because they erase and you guys said that you use these in your planners and you love them so i had it on my list to look for them at heb or walmart but i saw them at sam's club so i went ahead and picked these up and hopefully they work i'm assuming they're going to because a lot of you guys um commented on that video and you sent me messages on instagram saying yo pick these pens up you will love them <laughs> so I'm hopefully I love them and then I keep buying notebooks from the Dollar Tree or whenever I'm out and I need a notebook and I saw this it was right next to the pens this was like six bucks maybe six ninety five it was under seven dollars for um, let's see there's 50 sheets how many 15 of these what that's half the price of what I would have spent so I went ahead and got that because I am a pen and paper type of girl all right you guys we have some veggie straws still from the last time um the kids go through these very very slowly but they love rose doesn't but bryce and pearl love the uh what are they called spicy doritos so yeah i think spicy doritos they love those so i saw these like right when i walked into sam's these were right there and i was like oh i'm gonna have to get those <laughs> so the kids can try them so i went ahead and get got got these screaming hot veggie straws and hopefully they're not too hot if they are my husband will probably eat them because he likes spicy stuff too. All right, we are finally getting low on coffee. I feel like it's been a while since I've purchased any. So I went ahead and got the McCafe this time. And then let's see, over here, I'm gonna be doing some wiping down of our walls and stuff. And I love magic erasers for that. So I got this pack. It's got, um, which side tells me how many? It's got four extra durable, three kitchen and four bath. So went ahead and did that, got that for some cleaning. Teddy Cat's Lightweight Cat Litter. This is one of our favorite brands, so we pick that up pretty often. I think I missed the cups back here. 
I'm all over the place, I'm sorry. I'm super tired. <laughs> I've been out for hours shopping. All right, this is Sam's Club brand, party tumblers with lids and straws. You can see the straws back there. I'm super excited about that. I actually just had to throw away one of my glass Pioneer Woman mugs. It's had a crack in it for a really long time, but it was like double, um, it was like double thick glass and the crack was in between, um, but the crack was really starting to get big and I was like, all right. I need to throw it away before it starts leaking or like cracks in the dishwasher and gets glass everywhere or something like that. So I was bummed. Um, so I went ahead and got this. These are plastic, but it is a 23 ounce capacity. So I thought that would be nice. Shatterproof Triton plastic. Plus they're pretty. So I went ahead and got that. And then I did get some toilet paper. So we have, I think one, like four pack in each of the bathrooms but that is not gonna last us until the end of May and I'm not going back to any kind of bulk you know, store. So I did go ahead and get that. This is our favorite brand, the Charmin. Last time, the only brand available was the Costco brand and we're just Charmin people. So I was really happy to see that. There was plenty of toilet paper. So definitely no shortage on that anymore in our area. All right, that's Sam's. Let me put this all up and then get Costco on the table and share that with y'all. This is Costco and again, non-food and food and I'm out of breath. So we'll start down here. I saw these and I thought they were super cute. So this is a 17 piece bucket play set. Sand and water fun. We actually have a few different um, things that we're gonna be doing later on in the year. Well, in the summer. So we're going to a cabin and we have a um, lake house that were lake house vacation planned. So hopefully we can still do both of those. But I picked these up. I thought they would be a lot of fun having, you know, three kids, one they would be fighting over. So I went ahead and got two. And these were the only two color combinations. So they got the red bucket and the blue bucket. So I got one of each. Then over here, my dogs have some stinky breath. <laughs> so I went ahead and picked this 72 um, pack of dental chews. Grain-free, gluten-free, helps clean teeth, reduces plaque and tartar, and added vitamins and minerals. So and their old age, their, their breath is starting to get stinky. So went ahead and picked that up for them. The kids are completely out of everything. <laughs> That's why I'm buying everything for the next month so I don't have to go back. Um, so this is their favorite juice box. This one is actually more expensive than, what's the other brand? I don't know what the other brand is, but there's a name brand there. It's exactly the same. I think it's 40 juice boxes. It's organic. Um, it might even have the same exact flavors apple grape apple grape and then fruit punch um but we bought that for the kids before and they did not like it so they like the kirkland brand i think it's like two dollars more so went ahead and got that <sighs> and now we're up here so let's start over here with some of the non-food items um well food item dog food got that um clorox two unstoppables baking soda so normally i don't buy a baking soda this big however once every few months probably like twice a year i should probably do it more but i don't i clean our mattresses so i pour some of this on the mattresses and then i vacuum it up and then i also have a fun paint activity that i'm gonna do with the kids that needs baking soda so went ahead and got the big bag got some more laundry detergent vinegar back there okay right here i normally get the sargento breaks but kira my good friend, if you guys don't know who she is, I will have her channel linked down below. Um, she is 50 Shades of Mom. Um, she picked these up and she said her husband loved them. I don't know if she eats them. I'm actually gonna have to text her and see. But I love the Sargento Breaks. They are like my go-to quick snack. And these were on sale and you get more. So there's 16 single serve packs in here, plus they were cheaper than the Sargento Breaks. So I went ahead and got that. We are completely out of Nutella, which is a crime according to Rose in our house. So this will last us a very long time. Normally I just pick up one and it lasts us at least a month. So this will be good. Got the Netso. This is one of my husband's guilty pleasures at night. He has a spoonful, like seriously, a spoonful every single night before dinner. <laughs> or not before dinner, before bed. So I went ahead and got that for him. All right, my daughter Rose needs some extra practice in reading. So I've been trying to find books that would entertain her, that she would be you know, interested in reading. So this was, you can see there, $14.99. There's eight books in here and they love Pinkalicious. Um, we have, our book is actually really sad. I might need to buy a new one because it's ripped and really, really sad looking, but we've had the Pinkalicious book, the original for years. My daughter Paige actually read Pinkalicious. So I went ahead and got that for her. Hopefully she enjoys it. Hamburger buns, 
hot dog buns. We're gonna be grilling out pretty soon. Um, I did not buy the Z bars this time. I figured we would just buy one bar. There's 36 in here, and this is the Nature's Bakery Fig Bars. These are Rose's favorite. This is a mixture of raspberry, blueberry, and original fig. I got some more avocado oil spray. I have one, but last time I had one, and I was like, oh, it'll be fine, and I ran out, and I had to buy it at H-E-B, and it's more expensive, so. Went ahead and got this because I know I'll run out before the end of the month. Got some macadamia nuts. These are my husband's favorite. Some oils we are almost completely out of. So I got avocado oil and olive oil. Look what I found. I feel like that's not new. It's probably always there. I just never pay attention in the cereal aisle. Frosted mini wheats are my favorite. So went ahead and got the big one. So I will not need to buy any for the rest of the month. Back to some more breakfast options for the kids. They love kolaches. So I got the 20 count. And then for when we grill out hot dogs and hamburgers, I took the easy route and I already got the fully cooked beef patties. We just have to heat them up. I got this, should last us a while, for a dinner option one night or like an add-on, not just this for dinner. But these are vegetable spring rolls with edamame. So I got that. Um, we are really low on ground beef. And normally we get our meat from Butcher, butcher, block, butcher Box, but we have a lot of steaks and things that we haven't been eating. And that's really what we get from butcher box plus meat and our ground beef and bacon and we just keep pushing our order so we need to go ahead and just get a whole bunch of ground beef bacon and chicken <laughs> from butcher box so i don't have to keep buying randomness at the store but i did go ahead and get a three pack of the organic ground beef my kids loved the mac and cheese yep so i went ahead and got some more this will be i don't know how big one box is like how much it feeds so i'm assuming we'll get at least four meals out of this if i have to make two boxes because normally we buy the family size so went ahead and got that because my kids have been loving some mac and cheese lately the eggs were back in stock thank goodness um we've been missing them i haven't been cooking as much because everything calls for eggs and i've been trying to like save them for breakfast because the kids you know you know anyway so i got the big box yay and there was no limit so that was nice so i got five dozen Here's the bacon that I was just talking about. Got some more bacon. The hot dogs that we chose. The Hebrew National Beef Franks. You get more and it's cheaper um, if you get the Costco brand, but it was like way too much. I think it was like eight packs or something. I was like, that's too many hot dogs. So I just got that. I got this balsamic glaze to go on the mozzarella and tomato and basil thing. I thought that might be good. So I got that. These are actually not for us. My mom asked me if I was going to Costco anytime soon. They do not have a membership. And I said yes, and she said, please pick me up two bags, if you can, of the blackened chicken breast strips. We actually have not been eating these that often. I bought a bag two months ago, maybe? Maybe even longer than that, I don't know. And we still have about half of the bag left, so <laughs> we did not need any more. But my mom asked for two, so those are both for her. I got Paige her favorite Terra vegetable chips, if you guys can see those back there, even though I got the little bags at, at Dollar Tree, I told you, just in case I couldn't find them, I wanna get the little bags. So I got that for her, and then that back there, you guys, the cheese and caramel popcorn mix. So that is my jam, I've never had it before, but those flavors I love. And, oh my gosh, her name is not coming to mind. I'm pulling a blank, all right. I'll look it up when I'm editing and pop her name up, but um, she's from House of Hunts. I haven't been following her for too long, but I love her grocery hauls and her kids are super cute. And she keeps raving about this and she gets hers from Sam's Club, I believe. But I saw it at Costco. I went to Costco first. When I went to Sam's, they had it at Sam's too. So I picked that up to try, even though I know I'm gonna kick myself later for it because I know I'm gonna love it. <laughs> but she talks about it all the time. She's like, y'all, this is so good. So I had to try it. Um, here's the other Siete that we got, the sea salt ones. And then I got a big bag. Let me see if I can get back here and reach it. Of the Kirkland Signature Organic Tortilla Chips. It's a, it's a huge bag. So that should be enough chips to last the month for the dips and stuff that we have. I got two more blocks of cheddar. Sharp cheddar and Colby Jack. We like to shred our own cheese. It tastes so much better, you guys. Like so much better. And then I was craving this when I saw it. I was like, oh, that sounds so good. I love salami, cheese, and the pretzel crisp. So good. And I haven't had salami in a while. So I did go ahead and pick this up. This was like 10 bucks. It was pretty pricey, I feel like, but super yummy. All right, a three pack of cucumbers. Again, I'm trying to buy stuff for two weeks, all the fresh stuff, and that way we're still staying out of the store as often as possible. So I got the cucumber. I don't know if you guys can hear those doors closing. I don't know what the kids are doing upstairs, but... Doors are opening, closing, left and right. I got some green grapes. 
I got some romaine hearts. There's six of them in there. That'll be two big salads for us. And then one of the romaines we're gonna use for like sandwiches for the like hamburgers and stuff like that. All right, I got some Brussels sprouts. We've been really loving these roasted in the oven, super yummy. Some strawberries, raspberries. My kids love tomatoes, so I picked up two, and these will last maybe a week and a half because one of them will be for a couple salads for dinner, and then one of them the kids will just devour. So I went ahead and got two. I got the bigger pack of blueberries because I'm going to be doing a couple recipes that I need blueberries from, plus Rose loves them. We got these last time, and the kids love them so much. I also use them in a couple different dinner recipes. So got another bag of the bacon crumbles. I already mentioned the pretzel crisps. They're back there. Everybody in the house loves those. These are my favorite. I'd have to ask everybody else, but um, whenever I cook these, they gobble them up. The fully cooked chicken sausage, super yummy. And we just finished off our bag. I don't know how long ago we bought it, but it lasts a pretty long time. And then these just sounded really good to me. Um, the, oh, I have this backwards. They definitely need to be washed. They look really sad, but it's organic squash. There's a mixture of the yellow squash and zucchini in there. So I got that, I thought that would be good roasted as a side with dinner when I also, or even on the grill possibly, we'll see. But whew, deep breath before I have to put all this stuff up. But that is everything, sorry for the, the light. It is getting close to dinner time because I've been out all day almost, I feel like. Um, but that's everything that we got from Costco. All right, just got back from Target. Here's an overview of Target. Again, I'm still gonna include all the non-food items. There's quite a few and bigger priced items in this one, but I figured I would share it. So we'll start on this side, and I did not really put things together at all. I kind of just put them on the table as I took them out of bag. So we do not own an ice chest. Every time we have gone out of town or wanted an ice chest, we've always asked my parents to borrow theirs. You guys are gonna hear the dogs running around. Um, so I went ahead and bought one because we are um, planning something in a few weeks and uh, we are going to need an ice chest to take our own food. So I went ahead and got that one. It looks really good. And the reason why I got that one is because it's on wheels. So I figured this would be better than getting a bigger one that if we jam packed full, two people would have to carry it. So I went ahead and got that one. Looks pretty good. All right. Oh, dang. I was going to bring my old hair dryer in here to show you guys. I have had the same hair dryer since I was a teenager. It's actually in Ashley and Kate Olson hair dryer, if you guys know who they are. So it's really, really old. And it's at the point now where this little part right here does not stay in. I It has fallen off and hit me in the head so many times while I've blow dried my hair. So it was time for a new one. So I just got, not necessarily the cheapest one, I think the cheapest one was like $19.99 and this one was 25. It just looked better. So I went ahead and got myself a new hair dryer. This is an Ibotta. I know I bought one of the Downy Unstoppables in a big container from Costco, however, or Sam's, I don't know, I don't even remember which one I got it from. But the Old Spice was on a rebate and I thought that this would be um, interesting to try out on maybe starting to wash Mark's clothes separately or like Mark's and Bryce's together. So they have, you know, that man scent or on the towels or like our linens and stuff. I don't know, I just wanted to try that out. So I did go ahead and pick that up. And then the bulk of our budget here, um, these were like $65 each. Bryce did get a PlayStation for Christmas. So he does have that in his room. He only has one controller and he really wants his sisters to be able to play Minecraft with him or any other multiplayer game. We do have Minecraft on the Switch, which is in our game room where all the kids can play, but I just thought it was sweet that he asked. So I did pick up two controllers in two different colors. So everybody knows. I think he has a gold. Yeah, he has a gold one. So now all three of the kids can play together in Bryce's room on games that we have on the PlayStation. Some produce. I did get another thing of strawberries because this is one thing that my kids just eat up really, really quickly. So I figured I would go ahead and get that. I got a bunch of bananas, two green bell peppers, some celery, and green onions. Okay, I got some five cheese Texas toast for a side with dinner one night. I got my oldest daughter's, one of her favorite snacks, the Hippies Vegan White Cheddar. Okay, we needed some conditioner. We have three shampoos in my, where I keep all of our stuff. I'm actually gonna do a video, maybe not in May, uh, maybe in June of where I keep everything in the house, how I organize all of our stuff. And I still have several shampoos in stock, but no conditioners. So 
I just had on my list to get three. However, at Target, if you buy four, you got a, I think it was $5, a $5 gift card. So I did go ahead and get four because um, we'll use it. So now I have $5 the next time I go to Target to take a little bit of money off. I got some cereals. So I got Reese's Puffs. Um, Rose requested those. And then in the back is Frosted Cheerios. So I have been on the hunt for Frosted Rice Krispies. My daughter Paige loved those the last time I got them. And I cannot find them anywhere. But I did see the Frosted Cheerios and it looks like they're vegan to me that she would be able to eat those. So I picked those up for her to look at and see if she wanted to give those a try. And hopefully she likes those as much as the Frosted Rice Krispies. I looked for my little um, Quaker Rice Crisps, um, but I could not find them anywhere. So I did just go ahead and get a bigger bag of the Popcorners and the White Cheddar. That'll be a little snack for me, like for lunches and things like that. Canada Dry is actually for a recipe. Two gallons of milk. I'm gonna get two at HEB as well. You guys are gonna see. And a big container of orange juice. And then I have two boxes of brownie mix, one fudge and one cookie brownie bars um, for different things that we're doing with the kids. I did go ahead and pick up some donuts for the kids. So I got the double chocolate flavored and then the powdered mini donuts, some chocolate milk, and then a variety of drinks. So I got three kinds of Zevia. Mark loves those. Um, got a case of Dr. Pepper. Then we got some, these are on Ibotta. And these, I wanted to try. I've seen several people try these and say that they were really good. And because Mark doesn't want his monsters anymore, I thought he could try these. I don't know if he's gonna like them. He's not a huge fan of like sparkling drinks, but if he doesn't like them, I will definitely drink them. So I get one in each color, each color, oh my gosh, each flavor that I found. So strawberry citrus, blue raspberry, what is that, orange passion, and triple citrus. So I got those, and then five different buy drinks. So there's a limit on Ibotta on the buy drinks, and then you get like cents off, like 35 or 50 or something like that. So I got four, and then you get this one, pretty much for free. These are $1.99 each, and you get $1.99 back just on this flavor, and it's the Zambia Bing Cherry. So, I got that. Okay, you guys are gonna see in the H-E-B haul that I'm gonna get sushi for Pearl, and anytime I get Pearl sushi, Rose and Bryce get Lunchables. So, Rose loves the Nacho Lunchable, and Bryce loves the Turkey and Cheddar Sub Sandwich. So, I got those for them. I love to have these on hand, and we've been out for a while. The any kind, really, smoked sausage. So normally I get the beef, but they didn't have any, so I got the turkey, and I was looking for the Hillshire Farm because there is an Ibotta rebate on those, but they were completely sold out, but I wanted them anyway, so I got the Eckrich, and because of how many people are in our house, I went ahead and got three. I feel like that would be enough for one dinner. I also got the Beef Little Smokies. I'm gonna be trying out a recipe with these. Maraschino cherries without stems for some banana splits later this week. I got some RX nut butters, they are on Ibotta, and I like to mix these into my yogurt. So I got one of each flavor of those. All right, my daughter Rose apparently is tired of regular pepperoni, and she said, I only like the minis now. <laughs> so I went ahead and got a bag of the minis for her for when we do like a mix up on lunch and stuff like that, like snacky plates. All right, I was looking for the diced ham. Um, I never made the waffles that I was going to with them and I never shared it with you guys. So that's gonna be in a future video of some sort. And they didn't have the dice, they had the cubed, which it's no big deal, they're just a little bigger. So I might go ahead and cut these each in half to make smaller. I don't know why, I just saw the bologna and I craved it. <laughs> I used to love having bologna and salami sandwiches. So I went ahead and got some bologna. Okay, I do not remember your name. You, I mean, you guys should know by now, I am awful with names, but somebody left a comment on a video letting me know that they saw this vegan dip and that I should get it for Paige. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I saw it in Target and I was like, yes. Um, and I think you said that you would try to tell me on Twitter, but I deleted my Twitter account um, for a couple different reasons. <laughs> so I am no longer on Twitter. I really wasn't active on it that often anyway. I am most active here on YouTube and on Instagram. So <laughs> if you guys want to follow me outside of this platform, go follow me on Instagram. You're gonna want to anyway because I have something fun coming up. So I got the edible brownie batter. She's gonna freak out when she sees this. I think she's really gonna be excited to try that. And then I got the snickerdoodle cookie. This used to be like her thing with my parents. Before my younger three were born, whenever I would 
have like a day to myself and my parents would take Paige and watch her for a little bit. They always, always, always used to make snickerdoodle cookies. Like she would make those with my mom. So hopefully she really enjoys um, these too. All right, I got the shell chocolate syrup for some other things that we're gonna be doing. The two good yogurts are on Ibotta, so you get a little bit of uh, money back on that. So I got a strawberry, blueberry, and vanilla. I love the coconut, but they did not have that one. I got two small packs of the Danimal smoothies. My kids love these. I got the strawberry banana and the cotton candy. Needed some food coloring for some activities that we're doing, and they're actually not food related. <laughs> so I might be sharing that on Instagram, but I went ahead and got that. I saw these plant-based breakfast patties and I thought Paige might enjoy those. They had something heavy on them in, <laughs> in the cart. So they got a little smushed, but hopefully she can try those and they are delicious. I did go ahead and decide to pick up some chicken. I know I said I wasn't going to. I had that I have a five pound bag in the freezer, but if we're not gonna do any other shopping the rest of the month other than produce and milk. Um, I want to make sure we don't run out. So I did go ahead and get a pack. All right, I got some Gordo's cheese dip. Rose loves this stuff and I haven't picked it up in a while and we have a lot of chips and like snacky things that we're going to be doing this month. So went ahead and got that. I needed some caramels for a recipe. I needed 11 ounces, but they did not have a big bag anywhere. So I just got two of the small bags and they're five ounces, but I think that will be enough. All right, I did not pick up Gatorade or anything like that. I'm gonna try to have the kids, I did get juice boxes, but um, I'm gonna try to have the kids drink more water this month, but I got some flavor add-ins just in case. So these are on, I bought it as well. And I think you have like a limit of five. So I went ahead and got three. I got the raspberry, black, cherry, and original. They had a peach. I just don't think my kids would enjoy that. I already told you guys the drinks. I got some fortune cookies. I thought that would be a fun little side to a dinner one night. And then I mentioned the Skittles that I wasn't able to find different kinds at the Dollar Tree, which is where I wanted to buy all the snacks because it's just cheaper. But I found some at Target. So this is a wild berry and tropical flavor mashups bag. And then this is creamy yogurt flavored coating, Skittles dips. So I got those for something that we are doing. All right, I went ahead and got a big party size variety pack of chips. So this is mainly, they might get eaten before we go anywhere on vacation or anything, but I did pick it up in mind as something easy that we can take on the go. <laughs> we'll see if it lasts. There's 28 bags in there, so we'll see. But you can see it's got a big variety in there. I got the Neapolitan ice cream for the banana splits. And then I picked these up. We've already eaten the ones we had and I just like to have these on hand because they're really good and Paige likes them. The vegetarian baked beans and the vegetarian refried beans. I picked up three of my minestrone soups. I love this stuff. Um, most of the limits are off at Target right now, most of the stores. However, there are still limits on meat. You can only pick up one or two of each kind and cans. You can pick up eight of one kind, which I think is really good. I got the corn pea hash. I love this stuff. And then I was looking for the big case of Blue Moon because to quarantine kids, all of that. They were completely out. This is all they had for other than the cans. And I'm not about, I'm not, I'm just not a huge fan of drinking beer out of a can. So I have not tried the pints, aluminum pints, but I figured we'll try them. If I find a case at HEB, I might go ahead and pick up a case. We'll see, I don't know. We might not have room for that if it has to be refrigerated, but beer, you guys, like just beer. I picked this up a little while ago and Paige absolutely loved it. So I went ahead and got it again, the plant protein birch benders pancake and waffle mix. And then you guys, I did not pick up myself any soda. I got a lot of different kinds of drinks that are a little better for me. So I'm gonna go back to what I was doing when I was actively losing weight, which was just getting myself a soda when I go to the store. So they had the cherry vanilla zero sugar. Um, this is actually not my favorite. A lot of people prefer this to the orange one. I love the orange one, that's still my number one. The regular Coke zero sugar is my number two, and then the cherry vanilla I would say is only if they don't have anything else. So this was the only option for me, so I did get that. It's still good, it's just not my favorite. I went ahead and got Paige some deodorant by this Love, Beauty, and Planet, the coconut water and mimosa flower. They had a bunch of different kinds. I went ahead and got her this one. 
And then I showed you guys in a recent vlog that I got her some glass straws. Um, her birthday's coming up and I don't know what we're gonna do. I've just been picking up little things here and there. And I saw this in the dollar spot, or it's not called, yeah, it's called the dollar spot, uh, Bullseye's Playground, for a dollar and it is a portable straw. So I thought she would enjoy that, even though she doesn't really go anywhere. You know, she can keep this for <laughs> when she gets a job out of the house and all that good stuff. So I got that. And then I saw these and I thought these were super cute and I think the kids will enjoy them. Um, these are, hold on, what are they calling them? Hanging paper roll. I got one in the doodle frames. They had like three or four different kinds, but I got the kinds that I thought my girls would like. Bryce probably isn't gonna care about this, but this is a doodle frame so they can just doodle on, on it and color on it. And it has a little string here that you can hang it up on the wall or you could you know, put it on the table, all of that good stuff. And then this one is activities. So it's got decode the secret message. It's got, what is this called? Like four, is the dot, I don't know what that dot game is called. It's it's got hangman in here. Here we go, right here. Tic-tac-toe, a maze, all sorts of stuff. So I thought these would be really fun. I am out of cotton rounds and normally I pick them up from the Dollar Tree, but the last two times that I've gotten them from the Dollar Tree, they have come apart. Like I've got fuzz on my face. So I went ahead and got a name brand, the Q-tips. These were pretty expensive. They were three something, I think. And then I saw these and I went ahead and picked both of these up to add to my mom's Mother's Day gift. So they are Lint Hello. I got the coffee blast and the salted caramel. So I'm just gonna tuck those into her Mother's Day gift and she can enjoy eating those. Okay, I just realized I was about to start putting things up that I forgot this beauty. I just saw this, it was in the beer aisle and I've never tried a wine spritzer before, but if you guys have been following me for any amount of time, you know I love anything cucumber in a drink and this is low calorie cucumber blackberry wine spritzer by Bloom. They had several different flavors, but the cucumber just called my name. So it's the weekend and I might just have this before five o'clock, just saying. All right, last little bit. So I've got Walmart and then H-E-B. I went to Walmart first and then to H-E-B. So we're gonna do H-E-B first that way my husband can start getting the ice cream up. So a lot of y'all suggested in one of my recent videos and you sent me messages saying I should get a bag of frozen onions, chopped onions to have on hand. And I've actually looked for these before and they've been sold out for a while. I was hoping to find a bigger bag, but this is all they had. I just picked up one just to have in the freezer in case I don't have any onions or I don't feel like chopping up an onion. I feel like that is a great thing to have on hand. And then I actually picked up, you guys are gonna see in the Walmart haul, I picked up a small bag of this. I thought this would be something different as an option for lunch for the kids because I don't know about Bryce, but Rose and Pearl, um, and it's been a really long time, like a year, maybe even more than a year. When we went to restaurants every now and then, they would get the breaded okra as a side or um, if we were out with my parents, my mom and dad love breaded okra and they would have it and the girls would try it and love it. So I went ahead and got this just as, I got a bigger one so we could have as a side to dinner and then I did get a small one um, as an option for lunch if they really, really love it. I picked up Paige, my oldest, a uh, vegan pizza for her to have and then I also found some vegan ice creams for her. They had a ton, I don't know if this is new or not, but they had a ton of this Van Leeuwen. Um, different flavors. So I got the mint chip in that one. And then this, I believe, is like an Austin company. And I got the cookies and cream in there. Yeah, Austin, Texas. And then Ben and Jerry have some vegan ones. Not a whole lot, but a couple. And I got the chocolate chip cookie dough. Then I went ahead and got some Rebel for my husband and I. And they had the new um, flavors, which I haven't seen in a while. So I've had the coffee chip before. I absolutely love it. And I can't remember which ones are new. I feel like these three are new. I don't remember, but I haven't tried them. I just don't remember if I've tried the cookies and cream or not. Oh, it says it right here on the top, duh. So I got the cookies and cream because my husband loves that flavor and the coffee chip for me. And then I picked up these three. I got the salted caramel, the cherry chip, which my husband also likes cherry Garcia. So he might like that one. And then the coconut almond swirl. I love coconut. So. I got those. Then my kids have been watching, you know, YouTube videos with kids and like fun little hacks and things like that. And they want to do something with these. I think like run them over with their bikes or something. I don't know. I don't know. But I did go ahead and pick up three. I got this like green monster for Bryce. And then I got two little girly ones and the girls can decide. I got this cat 
and an ice cream cone. So got that. Um, we are almost out of squeeze mayo, which we use for hot dogs and hamburgers and stuff. I have two small containers where, you know, you use a spoon to get the mayo out, but that's going to be for salads and stuff for egg salad, tuna salad, chicken salad. So I like to have this on hand for quick dinners. And then this actually came off as I was bringing it in. I'm really glad I didn't bust the whole thing, but I did go ahead and break down and get a rotisserie chicken. They just smelled good. They were right there when I walked into HEB and I was like, okay, fine. Chicken salad does taste a whole lot better with a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> and that is what I'm making as one of our lunch options. So went ahead and got that. And then you guys are going to see what I, the fun thing that I picked up at Walmart but I needed, didn't need, but I wanted an outdoor air bed to go in there and Walmart was completely out and I found one at H-E-B. So yay, H-E-B for the win. So I did get a queen um, air bed that's gonna go in a tent, which is another fun thing that the kids are going to do. Okay, so that is it for H-E-B. And then Walmart is kind of exploded everywhere. So we'll start, actually we'll start back here. This is what I love. I've also purchased the Walmart brand before, but my face does like this one better. So I got the oil-free 24-hour acne clearing system. It works great, and that's what I use on my face. And then I was looking for the off-brand because it is a little cheaper, but I'm completely out of slow cooker liners, and I still have several recipes that I'm going to be doing in the slow cooker, and I don't want to be washing it every single time. So that has six in it. Then we're going to be doing a fun activity, and we needed some race cars. So I picked up several um, of these Matchbox cars, and I'm not going to show you every single one, but I did get several different kinds of cars for the kids because like I said, we're doing an activity. And then down here, every now and then I'll find something that I just screams friends and um, things that I want to add into little gift baskets and stuff. So I did pick these up. They were only a dollar each. This says live in my best life, cherry blossom, bubble bath powder. And then this one says time to wind down a sparkling wine bubble bath powder. So I picked both of those up. Then I'm going to be doing some pampering on Sunday, uh, May 10th, Mother's Day, and I really need to do my nails, um, my fingernails and my toenails. So I found this deluxe manicure kit, so I got that. And then I have a stone that I picked up from Bath and Body Works like over a year ago, and I really need to toss it. <laughs> I use it like every three, every third shower or something like that on my feet, and I needed a replacement. So I went ahead and picked this one up. It says coarse, removes dead skin and smooths feet. So I went ahead and got that. Okay, and then we'll go back there and then come forward. So I went down the clearance aisle and I found this originally $20 on clearance for nine, and it is a Frozen 2 Deluxe Glitter Slime Set. That's gonna be so fun to do with the kids um, one day. I don't know, I don't have a plan for it. I just had to pick it up for nine bucks. So there's 15 pre-made slime colors and it has 20 sparkling glitter and confetti shapes. The girls are gonna go nuts when they see that. Okay, I made sure my daughter was in her room and I'm not gonna talk super loud, but I did pick this up for her birthday. Again, she's gonna be turning 16 in July and I'm just picking up little things for now because I don't know what the plan is. <laughs> Um, and this is an ultimate henna tattoo kit. She likes this kind of thing. So I went ahead and got that. It's 13 pieces. It's got the color powder and hopefully she enjoys that. I think she will. Okay. Speaking of YouTube, Rose was watching a show and they had this. I think it was like they had one color that they had to shop for or something like that. But they showed this unicorn magic snack pack made with stardust cute and then they had like a monster one or something it was green and red i could not find the green and red one i know bryce would have enjoyed to try that but um i did go ahead and pick this one up and then it says discover great recipes like unicorn shake so i'm going to get go online to snackpack.com unicorn and look up some of those recipes because i think that would be more fun than just them eating this as pudding um and it does say unicorn tattoos inside so that was really fun that i found that rose was excited i picked up some corn dogs i was looking for the annie ann's pretzel wrapped dogs but every single store i went to they were completely out they just had the pretzels and my kids love um loved those and it's an ibotta rebate but no luck so i went ahead and just got some beef corn dogs i have on hand um, Pearl requested some toaster strudels. So I got the cream cheese and strawberry toaster strudels. And then I have not been able to find that fun pack. I don't remember what it was called, um, but my kids absolutely loved it. I should have stocked up and bought like 10 bags, but I don't think they're selling it. I feel like it was a limited time only or something. Um, so I did go ahead and get some pizza rolls. These are a quick, easy 
lunch, like for real. And there's 50 in there. So went ahead and got that. I saw this like vegan bacon. So I picked that up for Paige if she wanted to try it. I actually got her some, um, or I didn't, but my husband, he was at HEB a while ago and he got the like fake eggs. So I figured she might want to try this or the sausage that I got her with eggs in the morning. Um, Pearl, a while ago, we made these strawberry cheesecake muffins and she loved them. So I picked, I went ahead and picked up this just to have on hand over the next um, few months or two months. And then I went ahead and got the blueberry cheesecake as well. Here's the okra that I saw first, <laughs> the small bag. And they only had the small, they didn't have the big. So that's when I was like, okay, well that could be an option for lunch. And then yay, H-E-B for the win with the big bag. This is an Ibotta rebate, and I thought this would be good to have on hand really with any um, like pork or chicken. So I went ahead and picked this up. It is the P.F. Chang's teriyaki sauce. They had Mongolian, wait, they had Mongolian and sesame also, but I went ahead and got the teriyaki. Um, another item I picked up just to have on hand is the Jiffy corn muffin mix. These are on Ibotta and just an easy uh, snack for the kids, a little bit better for them. So I got the Annie's Bunny Grams and the Annie's Cheddar Bunnies. Two milk, one chocolate milk, one orange juice. I got two big cans of pumpkin. I use this in the dog food, so that should last me a couple months. And then look at that, Paige is set with cereal, if she likes those Cheerios. <laughs> she is set for a long time because I got the family size. Um, I actually don't think they had the smaller one, but I found the Frosted Krispies, so yay. Thank you, Walmart. I got a watermelon. The kids, when we cut open a watermelon, it barely lasts more than one day. So went ahead and got that. Found the breadsticks that my son wanted, so we'll use that garlic toast or cheese toast for something else. And I did go ahead and get two boxes because there's only six in one. My husband needed some wood screws, the one inch, so I picked those up. Got some corn dogs for Paige. So these are vegan corn dogs, so she can have those. All right, I saw these red lentils, so I went ahead and picked them up because that red lentil curry stew is a favorite. Um, I love it, Paige loves it. The younger three, well, Pearl loves it, Bryce and Rose not so much, but I did go ahead and get the red lentils just to have on hand because the last time they were out. So got that, and then a bunch of fun stuff. Oh wait, no, here's a food item. I got some sweetened condensed milk for a recipe and then a bunch of fun stuff. So. We will start back here with a really fun thing. It's a three person dome tent. It actually wasn't that bad. It was, I wanna say $25, I think, or like $24.97, something like that. So I got that. The kids are gonna have a blast with that. And then I wasn't sure, I was reading all over it and I didn't know if it came with something to hold the tent into the ground. So I did go ahead and pick these up. I think they were like 50 or 47 cents each or something like that. So. I got four of those. Then some fun things for activities. I got a tie-dye kit, fun times. So I also got some t-shirts to do the tie-dye and then I got some puffy paint for them to write on their tie-dye shirts if they want. Got some mosquito bands for the kids for when they stay in the tent as well as some off just in case. And then our hot tub, we don't have it filled or anything like that but hopefully it works. It's plugged in, all the wires are where they need to be. So. I did go ahead and get some fun goggles for the kids. They don't need goggles, they just like them when they're in the hot tub. So I got these Candy Lane with a mirrored lens for Rose. I got these ones. It says La Di Da with the eyelashes for Pearl. And then this was the only boy option, but I think Bryce will like it. It's the shark bite. So got that. And then I did get some extras just in case, um, you know, we start having people over. I wanted to have some on hand for the other kids. And then last but not least, I found, so I got the big thing of crayons, the big thing of colored pencils, and I got a big thing of markers, and that will last us through the summer and the kids will be able to color to their heart's desire. So I had to get the Crayola Super Tips. Um, it says draw thin, draw thick, washable markers, and there's 50 in here. So boom, I'm done shopping for a good couple months. All right, you guys, now you can see why I look so tired. <laughs> All of that, and I sweat so bad in my mask. Like, you guys let me know. I don't know, it's just the breathing and the hot air. By the time I get in the car, I put my hand sanitizer on and then I immediately have to take like a tissue or something and wipe my face because I'm all sweaty. 
So my shopping experience, I want to take just a couple minutes to talk about it. This week was very different. I am in Texas. If you guys did not know that, we live in Texas and our, as of Friday, May 1st, um, non-essential businesses have started to open up and it was so different this time going out because one, there was a ton of traffic. Like there was traffic all over the place, definitely more people out and not all of our stores are requiring you to wear a face mask. Some are and some aren't. So Costco, Sam's, Trader Joe's, Dollar Tree. I wanna say Target also, but I'm not sure about Target. I just didn't see anybody without a mask on a Target. So those stores, you have to wear a face mask when you go in. H-E-B and Walmart, half of the, all the employees had gloves and face masks, ma face masks on, but half of the shoppers had a face mask and the other half did not have a face mask on. So that was very different to see um, the more relaxed that people are getting. However, they were counting the number of people that were allowed in the store. I actually had to wait in line at a couple stores to get in because there's a limit on how many people you can have in. And the stores that had two entries and exits, one of them had become an exit only and one of them was an entry only so they could keep track of how many people were entering the store and how many people were exiting the store. So just a little bit of differences. I wanted to let you guys know that I saw as I was out the past two days getting all this done. I did not do all this in one day. That would have been crazy. It was crazy enough getting it all done in two days. So like I mentioned, we are done for two months. Next month, I'm going to be very, very strict on what we buy. We have a lot of dinner ideas, um, well, dinner ideas. We have a lot of dinner items in our fridge and we I do subscribe to a lot of different meal kits and I have some credits that I would like to use up. So dinners are pretty much taken care of. It was just like breakfast and lunch and snacks that I wanted to stock up on. So for the next six, eight weeks, whenever I go to the store, it is just going to be drinks and produce, like the fresh things, cheeses, whatever we run out of that we need for recipes. So I hope I am sharing some interesting videos coming up with you guys is gonna be a lot different. It's not gonna be a ton of hauls back to back or anything like that, because we're kind of just choosing to hunker down and hang out which is why I got a lot of fun stuff, just to make more fun things at home. And we have a couple vacations planned that hopefully we can still go on. So we're not gonna be home as much um, in the future. So thank you guys for hanging out. Give yourselves a high five or a pat on the back if you made it through the entire video. And I do want to start giving back as much as I can. So. In the past, I have asked you guys your opinions about Costco versus Sam's, and my family decided to get a membership to both stores. Obviously, I just shopped at both stores, and I wanted to gift you guys membership. So I'm gonna be giving away two memberships. You can pick which one. If both winners pick Costco, that's fine. If both winners pick Sam's or vice versa, I'm just gonna be sending you the amount of the membership. I think Sam's, I'll double check. Sam's is 45 and Costco's is 60 or 65. So that is the monetary value on that. But all you have to do is two things. You have to be subscribed because this is for my subscribers. I'm giving back to you guys for hanging out with me, for enjoying my videos, for watching, doing all the things. Um, and if you guys don't want to miss any videos, make sure that you click the bell and you press that you want every single notification. That way you guys don't miss anything that I post, whether it's a video, a story, or on my community tab. So number one, you just have to be a subscriber because this is me thanking you the best way I can. And then two, I want you to leave me a comment. I would like you to comment one thing or your favorite thing that has come out of this situation. And I know that might be hard because some people have been hit tremendously hard. Other people just feel it a little bit like by their kids being home and that kind of thing. But I want you guys to see something positive, something, you know, fun, whatever, whether it's something that you get to do with your kids more or anything like that. Because the past two weeks I have, tried not to focus on it, but I have a lot of negativity has just been around our house. And that's why I was like, you know what? I'm going to go out. Um, we're very thankful and blessed to be able to do a two month haul at once, but I just wanted everything in the house. And that way on a really bad day, I could swap the menu plan or pick something fun for the kids to do all of that. That's really, that's, what's going to get me out of my funk. I chose the best way for our family to look at the light, look at the positivity. And I want you guys to just Fill the comments with all the positivity and maybe that will give some other mother or family, stay at home dad, 
something that they can incorporate into their own homes going forward. So I really hope that this helps you guys. And the way I'm going to choose a winner is I'm just gonna put all the comments into a random generator. I'm gonna count the number and it's gonna pick a number and I will comment back here on YouTube. I was gonna do Instagram, but I know not everybody has Instagram. That's just the easiest way for me to talk to you guys is over there, but I'm going to, my arms getting tired. I'm going to comment on your comment and that's how you're gonna know that you won. And I'm gonna do this pretty quick. So I think I'm gonna do, well, I'll give it a full week. I'll go ahead and do that because I know some people don't watch this the day that I post it and I don't even know if it's gonna go out Saturday or Sunday yet. So I will go ahead and I will pick the winners by Saturday. And by the end of Saturday, if you guys come back to this video, check your comment, you should get a notified. You should get a notification if you have all your notifications clicked. But if I comment back, you should be notified that I comment on your comment and that will let you guys know that you won and then we'll figure out how to get um, in, in touch to e with each other privately and all of that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this super long video. I haven't edited it, but seven stores. I know it was at least 10 minutes for each store. I'll try to do as much editing as I can. Give this video a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you join my community. Going forward, I'm gonna be trying to do more paying back with you guys, using your suggestions for videos. I have a couple coming up that you guys keep requesting over and over again. So I would love to be more in tune with the community here on my channel. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.